Good morning to all. Today's topic would be on hemoglobinopathase. Now, this is a study of uh, abnormal hemoglobins, which is also known as hemoglobin variants. Now, there is uh, there are derived hemoglobins also. Uh, that is, uh, examples are uh, carboxy hemoglobin, that is, uh, the carbon monoxide uh, combines with the hemoglobin to form the carboxy hemoglobin. Then there is a carbamino hemoglobin in which uh, carbon dioxide combines with uh, hemoglobin and forms carbamino hemoglobin. Uh, there could be, uh, you know, uh, then uh, the normal hemoglobin is actually uh, hemoglobin A or uh, adult hemoglobin. Uh, which is made up of uh, two alpha polypeptide chains and two beta polypeptide chains. Now, each of these uh, polypeptide chains are uh, connected to a heme moiety, and this heme moiety renders the uh, red color to the hemoglobin and hence to the blood. The heme moiety is uh, made up of uh, four. Um, uh, globin um, hem hemoity combines with um, um, a polypeptide chain that is known as the globin. Uh, each of the polypeptide chains combine with one uh, hemoity. Heme contains a porphyrin ring made up of uh, four pyrrole rings and in the center of which there is the uh, metal which is known as the ion. Uh, now, uh, so adult hemoglobin has got two alpha polypeptide chains and two beta polypeptide chains. The fetal hemoglobin that is present in the fetus has got uh, two alpha polypeptide chains and uh, two gamma polypeptide chains. Now, adult hemoglobin and fetal hemoglobin, they have got uh, different uh, capacities to bind with the oxygen. The fetal hemoglobin binds more tightly to the oxygen, whereas adult hemoglobin uh, rather loosely binds to the oxygen. Now the uh, hemoglobin variance, uh, out of this, uh, this results uh, due to a mutation, a one base mutation in the uh, beta chain of uh, uh, hemoglobin beta chain. The sixth codon is uh, changed due to a mutation and uh, it replaces the uh, glutamic acid that should be normally present at the sixth position of the beta chain uh, is replaced by valin. Now valin uh, is a neutral amino acid and uh, glutamic acid is a is an acidic amino acid. So there is a change in the electrical charges on the hemoglobin molecule that is the negatively charged glutamic acid being replaced by the neutral valin amino acid. Now this uh, uh, mutation um, results in what is known as the uh, sickle cell <coughs> mutation. Now, sickle cell uh, mutation is a, is a, uh, a disease which results in sickle cell disease and also in sickle cell trait, depending upon whether the mutation is present in all the beta chains or in only 50% of the beta chains. The... Uh, Due to this change in the amino acid sequence of the beta chain, that is the uh, sixth glutamic acid being replaced by uh, valin, that is an acidic amino acid to a neutral amino acid uh, alteration, it develops uh, sticky patches on one side of the hemoglobin and uh, on the other side, there is a corresponding site uh, which can bind with the sticky patch. So there is a, 
binding of a sticky patch of one hemoglobin molecule with the corresponding site of the second uh, hemoglobin molecule. Now, in this way, there is a, a continuous uh, polymerization of the hemoglobin molecule, which results in the uh, precipitation of the hemoglobin molecule. And uh, due to this, uh, the shape of the red blood corpuscles change to a uh, sickle shape. That's why it is known as sickle cell uh, hemoglobin or sickle cell disease. Now, sickle cell hemoglobin is an abnormal hemoglobin. Uh, its binding capacity to oxygen is decreased. And, um, you know, when these sickle uh, cell RBCs pass through the narrow capillaries, the, then they can form a plug, thereby interrupting the blood circulation. So uh, the blood circulation may be interrupted at various points in the body and this leads to a constant uh, chronic pain um, in the body. So that is one of the symptoms. Uh, in addition to this, the uh, sickle cell RBCs, uh, they may be uh, hemolyzed because it has to squeeze in through the narrow capillaries so, uh, there is a turbulence experienced and hence the sickle cell RBCs can be uh, broken down and this is known as um, hemolysis uh, before attaining the lifespan of RBCs. Normal lifespan of RBCs is 120 days but before this the sickle cell containing <coughs> RBCs can be hemolyzed. So, there is a continuous uh, production of uh, hemoglobin which comes out and then this hemoglobin uh, breaks down to heme and uh, globin <coughs> and uh, the globin part can be reused uh, again and the heme part uh, is uh, except for iron <coughs> cannot be reused. So, iron is removed from heme so that there is a bilirubin production from the porphyrin which is uh, converted to bilirubin. <coughs> so, this uh, bilirubin <coughs> can cause uh, hemolytic jaundice. So, due to this, the hemoglobin level goes down and the patient um, uh, becomes lethargic and um, low in active energy level. Um, now, the sickling of the RBCs uh, to some extent can be prevented. Uh, by using thiourea and also by keeping the uh, sickle cell hemoglobin in a deoxygenated uh, state. So, the main reason here is the electrical charges has changed uh, from a relatively negative charge to a neutral charge. Other hemo, uh, hemoglobinopathies include uh, HBC, HBD and HBE. But these three hemoglobinopathies are quite less than the uh, HBS. Now, uh, there is um, other abnormalities present in the hemoglobin known as uh, thalassemia. Now, there are two types of uh, thalassemias that is uh, alpha thalassemia and uh, beta thalassemia. Alpha thalassemia is one in which uh, alpha globins are uh, produced less and the beta thalassemia is one in which uh, beta um, globins are produced less. Now, alpha hemoglobin gene has got four alleles whereas beta globin gene has got two alleles. 
Now, out of the four um, alleles of alpha hemoglobin gene, if one is uh, mutated, it does not produce any thalassemia. If uh, two are mutated, then it is known as um, alpha thalassemia trait. And uh, if three or all the four are deleted or mutated, it is known as um, hydrops fetalis and the infant may be born uh, dead at the time of birth. That is known as hydrops uh, fetalis. Now, as far as uh, beta globin um, thalassemia are concerned, there are only two alleles for the beta globin gene. And if one is mutated, it results in uh, beta thalassemia trait and or, or major beta thalassemia, sorry, beta thalassemia minor. And if uh, both the genes are uh, mutated, it will result in beta thalassemia major. And, and a fetus with uh, all the four uh, alpha globin genes mutated cannot live because the fetal hemoglobin uh, contains two alpha chains and two gamma polypeptide chains. So life is not uh, possible. Whereas beta globin gene uh, thalassemia ch children uh, will be born healthy. But uh, within the first uh, one week of one year of life, they develop what is known as beta thalassemia and the mortality will occur to this child. Now, coming back to the uh, sickle cell uh, hemoglobin once again, which is known as the hemoglobinopathy. Um, here also there are um, there is what is known as homozygous state and the heterozygous state. Homozygous state is where uh, both the beta globin genes are, uh, chains are absent, beta globin chains are, polypeptide chains are absent, whereas the heterozygous state is one in which uh, uh, half of the beta globin chains are normal and half of the remaining half of that is uh, abnormal. So, a patient with uh, in a heterozygous state can live a normal life, uh, but uh, a marriage, his ma his or her marriage with a um, with another individual having the same uh, heterozygous state can have uh, bad effect on the offsprings, and 25 percent of the children can have. Uh, sickle cell disease. So care has to be taken to have the uh, testing done before such a relationship is arranged. Now in the homozygous state, both the beta globin gene uh, chains are defective. There is a uh, difference in the amino acid sequence of the 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 globin chain, beta globin chain and such a disease is known as sickle cell uh, disease and uh, this results in genuine sickle cell disease or, or this can lead to uh, excessive hemolysis and uh, one way uh, is to try with uh, thiourea or keep the, uh, uh, the oxygenated hemoglobin in a higher concentration where, whereby we can actually prevent the uh, sickling and try to prevent the serious symptoms of the disease. Uh, it is possible that uh, the blood transfusion may have to be given but such continuous blood, blood uh, transfusions can lead to excessive iron overload. And this excess of iron can be deposited uh, in various tissues, thereby damaging those tissues. Uh, the iron may be deposited in the pancreas, uh, causing diabetes mellitus, or it may 
be deposited in the liver causing liver cirrhosis. Uh, so uh, the excess of iron, here the problem is the excess of iron cannot be excreted in the urine uh, whereas all the other metals uh, can be excreted but not the iron. Uh, for that, the body uh, takes care of the iron content by stopping the, or rather by regulating the absorption of iron at the dietary stage, or dietary or the at the absorption stage itself. Uh, our iron intake per day is only very less. It may be about uh, eight milligrams to ten milligrams per day then the rate of absorption or the efficiency of absorption is also quite low. Only 10% of this 8 or 10 milligram will be absorbed so that uh, there is no iron overload causing um, and it will not cause uh, hemochromatosis or hemosiderosis. Now the iron cannot be excreted as I told you. Um, it, is, it can be excreted only in women during the uh, menstrual flow. That is the only way iron can be excreted. So uh, care has to be taken uh, not to have iron uh, excess in the diet also that way. So this is a brief description, description of the hemoglobinopathies and uh, thalassemias. Hemoglobinopathy is due to a change in the amino acid sequence of the globin protein, uh, whereas thalassemia is uh, the less or the absent production of either globin, uh, alpha globin chain or beta globin chain. Okay, then the next topics can be had uh, on some other day. Thank you.